to the Chow Chow Chow. Stretch B8 Games here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Black 2 Run and Run. In the last episode, we made it through the Stralton Cave and we learned that temperature dropped in uh, in Castelia City and, of course, a few other cities as well to uh, minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. It was only for a few seconds, but still, that's, that's cold. That's very cold. But anyway, in today's episode, we are going to be taking on the Mistralton City Gym and adventuring around this place, hopefully, if everything goes to plan. Possibly make it up to the Spirit Tower, too. Anyway, so first off, let's take a look at the team. So first off, we have Benjamin, the Rodom Mo, Level 33 with... Uh, with uh, Shockwave, Ominous Wind, Leaf Storm, and Thunder Wave. My phone, things are happening on my phone right now, and I don't want to deal with them right now because I'm trying to record. So, I'm get I turn my phone over. Because it's right next to my, it's ne it's on silent, but it's right next to my uh, desk. So, if I ever need it, it's right there for me. But I really prefer not to deal with it until after I'm done recording. Anyway. So we have Skarsgård, level 33, our uh, Red and Wash with Uproar, uh, Shockwave, Hydro Pump, and Thunder Wave. Then we have Kevin, level 32, probably getting the experience share today with Vacuum Wave, Shockwave, Air Slash, and Ominous Wind. Then we have Microwave, uh, level 33, with Shockwave, Ominous Wind, Overheat, and Thunder Wave. And then we have Deep Freeze, level 32, with Ominous Wind, Uproar, Blizzard, and Thunder Wave. And then we have Shocks, level 33, our room normal form, with Assurance, Ominous Wind, Shockwave, and Uproar. That is the team. Now let's adventure on. I believe this is the Move Tutors. No. Oh. Okay. Oh, I get a HM, I get a HP up, depending on how, I guess I get rewarded for how many HMs I have. Uh, from, uh, for the more TMs I have, I get rewards for that. Okay, that's a, that's an interesting idea. This was where the move tutors were, but now they moved into Driftvale City. I remember now. Uh, no, I'm in the city now. I shouldn't need to use repels. Hello, Professor Juniper. Oh, hi there, Joanne. It's nice to finally be able to meet you in per and talk to you in person. I'm Professor Juniper. Uh, you accepted the Pokedex from me and came all the way out here uh, with your partners, your Rodum. Uh, here, I'll evaluate your progress for you. Please don't. So you've seen up to two hundred. You've seen. 201 Pokemon up to this point. I see. Thank you. Let's take this as a token of my gratitude. A Master Ball! Jin Juniper, I've only done five gyms. I shouldn't have this weapon yet. I should not have this until I get eight gyms. But yeah, this is the earliest you can get the Master Ball in any game in the Pokemon series. This is the earliest you can get the Master Ball outside of being incredibly lucky with the lottery IDs. Because I've never won the I've never won the Pokemon Lottery, and uh, I don't know anyone who has won the Pokemon Lottery uh, with their IDs uh, from ver from trading with various Pokemon trainers. It's really hard to predict if you can win that, but that's also a way you can get a Master Ball really early. This Master Ball is the most powerful kind of Pokeball. It'll catch any Pokemon without fail. Journeys are all about meeting new Pokemon, so don't let any opportunity get away. Still, I'm amazed with how much Pokemon distribution has changed over the past two years. That means my research will never end. Still, you could say that's what makes it fun. Professor Juniper! Why, if it isn't Skylar? This is Skylar. She's Miss Stralton City's gym leader. Like, why are you surprised to see me, Professor? Uh, you did ask for a lift in my plane across Twist Mountain since you're going to Oberlucid City by... F you can't reach Oberlucid City by foot anymore since the apparent cave-in in the, uh, in the mountain area. 
Aha, uh -huh, yes, uh, you're right. I did ask a favour of you, uh, but uh, I need to do a quick thing first. Uh, do you mind if I go and look at Crystallia Tower? I'll, uh, do you mind waiting until then? See you, Joanne. Be sure to uh, get along with all kinds of Pokemon. Honestly, I can't tell if she's laid back or uh, if she's not paying attention most of the time to anything that's above her own head. The apple doesn't fall so far from the tree, does it? What's next? Are you going to challenge my gym? Are you going to go to Crystallia Tower and do some training? I don't care as long as I get a battle with a strong trainer. I'm fine either way. Well, if it's all the same with you, I want to challenge your gym. I want to see if I'm ready to challenge your gym. I don't know if I'm ready to challenge your gym. I really don't know if I'm ready to challenge the gym. Ooh, TMO2 Leaf Tornado. Can Rodum learn it? Can Rodum learn TMO2 Leaf Tornado? We just got TMO2 Leaf Tornado. Can Rodum learn TMO2 Leaf Tornado? No, Rodum cannot learn TMO2 Leaf Tornado. Oh. There's another TM in this city too, if I remember correctly. I think you need to talk to these little kids. Whoosh, whoosh. The wind blows really hard in Skylar's gym. If you have a gym badge from Miss Stralson City, I'll uh, tell you something cool. So, we need to get the gym badge first. Why do we put greenhouses around the runway, you ask? So we can uh, send freshly packed vegetables so those as fast as possible. I guess that's a good way of going it. Plus you uh, stop the greenhouse emissions from the flames that you have at your airport because you have so many planes at your airport. So that's a lot of greenhouse emissions. And hello. Hello, is that Joanne? Excuse the sudden question, but can you guess what my job is? <laughs> uh, I guess uh, it's uh, natural that you would have no idea. Oops. Uh, my colleague is calling me. I have to get back to work now. Goodbye. Okay. Weird person. Yeah, you see these, they have greenhouses at the bottom of their, uh, uh, at the bottom of the runway here. I'm guessing it's because they want... They, I mean, they say it's because they want to get vegetables uh, as quickly as possible to people. But I'm guessing it's also to uh, help out with the greenhouse emissions of the airport. Because planes emit a lot of greenhouse uh, emissions. And it's probably so does this gym. Ow. Oh. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Allow me to apologize by giving you this fresh water. Please take it. Thank you. This gym is a wind tunnel. It propels you. When it propels you back to the start, you're spinning quickly. You'll be blown away like a certain someone was just. When the wind blow, when you think the wind will blow, stay behind a wall. That's the best way, and wait for it to stop. By the way, flying type Pokemon have more weaknesses than you think, like rock, electric, and ice moves. That'd be helpful. If this wasn't a randomizer, you know. Uh, uh, with this gym, stay in the green zones, especially when you see the explanation put means come across your face. Because that'll happen. So be careful where you be careful where you run. There are boxes here, but like it, apparently it's not gonna interrupt my box. It's not gonna do anything to my boxes. Every now and then, this uh, these uh, the fans will spin, giving you gale force winds that will propel you against the back of the uh, back a bit. And how this gym passed health and safety, I'll never know. 
Honestly, I will never know how Skylar's gyms pass health and safety concerns because there must be like some kind of embargo about Skylar's gyms because in the original black and white, she had a lot of cannons and one of those cannons hurled you into a war at a very high speed. So that's not safe. And uh, that should not be a thing as well. Did this say level 37? Wow, I am not ready to take on this gym. I am not ready to take on this gym. That is what I am learning. I am not ready to take on this gym. And Benjamin is almost dead. Let me switch into someone who can deal with this gym a hell of a lot more than I can. Deep freeze, come on out here, please. Okay, Slam missed, which is good because Slam has a high chance of miss. Oh, Blizzard has a high chance of miss too. And you have Raw. Which random form are you bringing out? Random Normal, okay. Um, Maybe your Pro will work here. Yeah, maybe your Pro will work here. Okay, it does. Nice. Everyone gets experience for that match. Although I kind of wanted uh, Benjamin to get the experience there, but I guess I'll take it the way it was given to me. Yeah, I guess I mean, there's not very much I can do. This gym is a bit higher level than I expected it to be, but let's see if we can take it on. I think we should be. I think we should be okay. I don't know for sure, but I think we should be okay. I'm gonna wait for the um, the fans to go down. In this uh, e this little area here, you can wait out the syst you can wait out the uh, fans. So try and get to the green zones as quickly as possible, if you can, because you can wait out the fans in the green zones. Or if not, you just get hurled against the wall. Yeah, I still don't understand how her gyms pass health and safety. I mean, I guess what I'm applying other world. I'm applying uh, the uh, qualities of this world here and now, uh, the world we live in, to the Pokemon world, which I guess I shouldn't do. But uh, you know, still, these gyms are life-threatening. Very much so. Ow, that hurts. That was a crit. Would you nail this leaf storm, please? And kill. Oh, nice. That did a lot of damage. And it kills. Awesome. Nice work, Benjamin. Scar Scar goes to level 34. Scar Scar is now the highest level to Pokemon on the team, which is awesome. But that was very scary. No, it's very scary. Thank God I have lemonades. I also have hype. I also have Moo Moo Milk too. I'm going backwards. But I'm okay. Get to the safe zone, Joe. And stay until further notice. Here, it's probably best to get Hurtled into the wall because it's better for progress if you do uh, in that area. But there's many places where Hurtling into the walls is not a bad thing. I mean, it doesn't really do any damage to your Pokemon, so it's not a bad thing. Just quite an annoying thing, really. Okay, so normal Psychic type here. Can't hit you with uh, Ominous Wind, but I can hit you with Shockwave pretty nicely. That did quite nice damage, too. That did quite nice damage. I'm actually quite hungry. I need to go and make some tea after this. It's almost, uh, it's almost tea time. Or, I don't know, I didn't dinner yet, too, so I should make some food. After this episode, I should definitely make some food. That was a crit. Bye-bye, Benjamin. Scar Scars, go! Benjamin may have fallen, but you will survive my dilapidated washing machine named Skarsgård. Nice. 
Nice work, Skarsgård. Um, let's make it to the safe zone. Oh, so I can't access my menus when I, when the wind's blowing? Okay, that's fine. I didn't know that was a thing. Honestly, I did not know that was a thing, and now it is. But I have Revival Herb, so get back up, Benjamin. I know that Pokemon hate Revival Herb, and I know I shouldn't use Revival Herb, but I love Revival Herb. Leave me alone. I love Revival Herb. I'm a huge fan of Revival Herb, because it, it literally is a Max Revive in a herb. So I'm going to use it. Leave me alone. Don't question what I do. Just, do, just, just live by it. That surgery was the best place to stand whilst uh, the wind was going. So hopefully we should be able to face a gym leader after this. This is the last trainer. So we should be able to make it to uh, Skylar. That'd be good, actually. Pitlob. You know, I haven't had too much of an issue with this gym. Despite the fact that we're underleveled, I haven't had too much of an issue yet. So hopefully we won't have too much of an issue. I don't know for sure, but we'll see. Pitlob down. Nice. And a Lipid. We've killed Lipids before. We're fine. Fake out. Hmm. That's annoying. If it's fine, it's fine. It's like flinching is fine. You at speed me now, it's kind of annoying. But Shockwave still does a two hit is Shockwave is still a two hit kill, and insurance is not. So I will live. Nice. Um, let's get to the safe zone. And heal up. Let's take one of those Moomooks and use it on Benjamin. And... Let's start this match with Kevin. And a Deep Freeze if we need it. I mean, we can always bring Skarsgård, Microwave, uh, Shocks and Benjamin in if necessary. But let's see what we can see what our, our other randoms can do. Let's stand next to Skylar for the thumbnail. Uh, let's save the game. Because you always want to save that game just in case anything important happens. You always want to save that game just in case. But you don't want to lose save data. And I don't want to lose save data either. So let's talk to Skylar. Hehe, <laughs> I've been waiting for you. You're a tough trainer who can face uh, the wind anytime it blows you off your feet. I'm kind of ex excited about our battle. I. Why don't we have some fun? Yep, why don't you and I have some fun, Skylar? Or Cristiano, as you're now called. Dead ass. That's all I'm going to say. Dead ass. Oh, damn it. There's a fortress on the field. I can't wait to do... No, no. The person who can do fortress damage is Microwave. Microwave is the Pokemon that can do fortress damage. No one else can do fortress damage. And I'm not letting any other Pokemon deal with fortress. This is overheat territory. So this will do a lot of damage to Fortress. I don't know if it'll kill, but Fortress are quite tanky. And they have Sturdy as a thing. Sturdy is a thing too, but yeah. That's actually a really good idea. Payback. Is that going to... That's going to hurt. Yeah, that hurts. You might heal. Yeah, I saw that coming. We should reactivate your Sturdy but I should be able to hit you again with an overheat. I know I'm minus two special attack now, but I activate the sturdy again. Uh, let's go for a shockwave. I was expecting another heal, actually, but she decides not to use it. Nice. Let's 
Scar's got to go to level 35. Nice. A Gastrodon. Ooh, that's Benjamin territory. That's Leaf Storms. I really need a drink. My voice is not fully back to the way it was before I... Because uh, I've had a cold for about a week or so now. And my voice... It's finally getting back to the way I want it. But it's not fully there yet. So I still need to have a lot of uh, fluids in me. And think about what I need to say before I say it. So I might end this episode early. And a Raichu. Well, there's no such thing as a red on ground form. So staying in with uh, Benjamin is probably the best idea here. And go for the Leaf Storms. Maybe this should be a red on ground form. With Earth Power as its uh, change move. That'd be pretty cool. Level 39. This Raichu's so high leveled. Quick attack. That does nothing to me. This generation where electric types can still be paralyzed. That's my phone going off again. If you heard that, that's my phone. It's supposed to be on. It is on silence, so it doesn't make a lot of noise, but it makes some noise still. And it rumbles a lot, too. But I'm fine with. Uh, if uh, Benjamin goes down here, I'm totally fine. At least, I go, at least I took your citrus berry away from you. Okay, but uh, Raichu is paralyzed. I'm going to uh, uh, hit. I'm going to get back down to half HP, which is kind of cool. Benjamin is doing Lex to no damage now. Can you just kill Benjamin? Thank you. It's fine, Benjamin. You did not fall in vain. You actually really helped. Go deep freeze. Blizzard. Nice. I am so underleveled. Her highest was level 39 and here I am. My highest is about 35 and my lowest is 32. You're an amazing Pokemon trainer. My Pokemon and I are are happy because for the first time in quite a while in about two years I'd say we've been able to fight at our full strength Mr. Bat uh, Mr. the official gym league Mr. Fashion gym league badge but it is a stepping just a stepping stone yay we received a jet badge We received a jet badge from Skylar. Wow, hot stuff. You know it. With that gym badge, Pokemon up to level 70 will obey you. Even those ones you get from trades or should you even have this TM. Remember, this for Pokemon Battles. TM62 Defense Curl. Thank you. Wonder what Professor Juniper is up to. I did promise her a ride in the plane after all. I guess we're going to have to chase her down in the next episode. Time for a quick hop in my plane. Hey, where did Professor Juniper get to? I wonder if she's doing some research in Cresselia Tower. Hmm, could I ask you to go and get the professor? I have to go and finish flight preparations at the... Mr. Alston Cargo Center. I have to pause a second. I need to cough. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I really needed to cough. I'm still... My voice has not come back to me fully yet. So, it's really hard to record at this moment in time. But I need to record. Really need to record, so I'm going to try and record as much as I can. I'll probably end up stopping after this episode. Wow, a jet badge. You beat Skylar. Okay, I'll show you something cool. We left a tr our treasure at the edge of the runway. Okay. In the main games, this would be the TM for Aerial Ace. 
And also Skylord would give you VTM for acrobatics, which was first introduced in these games. But in this game, it's TM40 Sandstorm. Wow, you find our treasure. Well, it's right there. You're not, it's not like you digged it up or anything like that. It's not like it's a hidden item or anything. Found it. Just kidding. Our, our ducklet already knows Aerial Ace, uh, so we'll give you this TM. Aerial Ace always hits the target. I hope it comes in handy. It would if it was actually an Aerial Ace. But it's not. It is uh, It is the move I said. It, it's Sandstorm. Again, a move I'm not exactly sure Rodom can learn. Let's try now. We have two new HMs. So, Defense Curl. Given to us by Skylar. Can anyone learn Defense Curl? No. Uh, Sandstorm. Given to us by those people there. They're just people we just met. No one can learn it. Okay, Rodom's uh, really bad at learning TMs and HMs. They don't learn a lot, but, you know, that's what makes this challenge so hard. But anyway, this is where I'm going to choose to end off today's episode. So in today's episode, we got our jet badge. We challenged Skylar, and even though she was way past our levels, we got the job done. We got the job done very much so, and I really enjoyed... Was getting the job done against Skylar. So that was really cool. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But until next time, I'm Drew's PH Games and I am out. See you again.